Open the Visual Basic Editor using Alt F11. Right click on Project 1 and choose Insert Module. Paste the macro into the module. Change the name of the sub to match the domain of your account and enter the email address in the email address field. You'll need to do that for each account. Since you have more than two accounts, just copy a macro, paste it in place, and then change the domain name and the email address. When you're finished, click Save. Go into Outlook. Right click on the ribbon somewhere and choose Customize the Ribbon. Select Macros from the Choose Commands from side. Select New on the Main Tab side and add New Group. You can leave it named New Group or you can change the name if you want. Select the new group and then select the macro and click Add. Select the next macro and click Add. Select the macro name. You can remove the project one dot. And if you want to put an icon on it, you can. That just makes it look prettier. then click OK. They'll be listed here under Accounts. When you want to send an email, you'll click on which account you want to send, and it will bring up the email message with that in the From field. The reason these buttons are all collapsed together is because I have too many things on the ribbon. If you have room on the ribbon, they will be listed here as separate accounts and not on the drop-down.